Have you downloaded the Pro Tools Control yet? This came out today. Definitely should check out. Hey, what's up? Soto from Mixers Hive here. Avid finally released the iPad controller for Pro Tools. And what's more exciting is that they finally embedded or used Yukon protocol for the wireless control. Um, there have been a third party programs, but most of them used Huey protocol. And for the wireless part, you had to install NiFi as a bridge uh, between your computer and your iPad. But this Pro Tools control, all you need is a simple Wi Fi connection and Yukon is way more precise on control than Huey thinks. So here's how you get it running. The first thing you need to do is to install the app on your iPad. On the display, this is the URL. It's pretty long and this is only for US. So the best is that you go to the App Store on your iPad and search for Pro Tools Control. Or if you go to the Avid website, there's a link to download it. So go ahead and download it. I'm going to wait. The next step is to complete user registration on Avid website. Why do you need it? By doing so, you'll be able to download the latest stuff. What are those? Well, drivers, manuals, uh, possibly an application if there's anything new. Uh, so that's worth it. Just go and do it. Then once you do it, check your email because you should have received the confirmation email. Alright, so next step is to download and install the U-Control application. Go to Avid website, click on sign in and register, and log in. Under my products section, you should see my products and subscriptions. Click on it. Then in there, you will see the Pro Tools Control and U-Control here. Click on the name, click on show button, then along with all these manuals, you see the U-Control 3.3 installer for Mac or PC. So now that U-Coin is downloaded, let's open install U-Control package. Double click and it will check if it can be installed or not. Continue, continue, read the license agreement till the end. Continue, I agree, then install. Type in your uh, computer password. Writing files. And you're good to go. Before we move on, there's one thing that you need to be aware of, uh, which is the other Avid controllers. If you have an artist control or two or more, or if you have an S3, then there's a limitation. I own a artist control and artist mix. And because this Pro Tools control functions kind of similar to the artist control, you can't use artist control and Pro Tools control simultaneously. So you have to give up one or another. It's a bummer because I already own artist control. I'm probably not going to be using this Pro Tools control as much. But if you don't have this, you have no problem. Let's move on. Next step is to connect your computer with Pro Tools to the Wi-Fi network and your iPad to the same Wi-Fi network. And if you're in your home studio, your living room, your laptop, or in a private studio, you're probably connected to one already. So I'm going to skip this process because Wi-Fi connection Everybody knows nowadays. Okay, so uh, in order to set up Yukon, this is how you do it. First of all, go to the E uh, menu item right here. Click and go to U Control Settings. Once you click on that, this new window pops up. You may be in Assign tab right now, so go to the Surfaces tab. And right now, I see my MC Mix, which had been added to 
the surfaces. So this is the left side is available devices and right side is the, uh, the surfaces that I'm using right now. And on an iPad, I open Pro Tools Control and now on the screen, this PT Control ST's iPad is showing up. And because I've used it already, it's automatically added to my surfaces. And what's happening right now is the MC Mix handling track one through eight and the, the uh, Pro Tools control is controlling um, the fader 9 to what is it, 16. And when I bank it, then it should move simultaneously. And now, in order to set up Pro Tools for it, I need to go to the Setup menu up here to Peripherals. Go to Ethernet Controllers tab and simply enable Yukon down here check on and hit OK and now you should be good to go when you click on one of those tracks then it should move and get you running one thing that was a little tricky to me of this app was two little keys down here fader and soft keys other than that pretty straightforward um, when you look up here, the tracks are there, color-coded by the colors of the Pro Tools. You can swipe it like this, and the fader moves. So when you come down here, and when I tap on the fader, what happens is the leftmost fader becomes the focused fader. What is it? Well, it shows any fader that's selected currently. So if I select one of those faders, like this uh, drum track on the right here, then it displays that track on the leftmost fader, which is extremely useful if you are, say, writing the vocal automation, but you still want to see and control the background vocals for the rest of the faders. You can select any tracks and display it right there. Awesome. All right, then the next one is the soft keys. You can think it as a shortcuts bunch of them while well, the screen is kind of bright that the camera is not really capturing it right but uh, undo redo and all the automation controls all the other uh, short code like shift control options command these are all here you can go to the next page by tapping this arrow and uh, all the modes and tools are accessible from this iPad there are a bunch of them just scrolling through you're like oh I didn't even know these are available on Pro Tools Anyways, so this app is amazing that controls Pro Tools with Yukon flawlessly. The only downside is that it doesn't work with Artist Control. And yeah, it kind of does the same thing. But somebody like me who already owns it, it would be great if I can use all of them at once. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later.